Picture this. You're on the range. It's a gorgeous day. There's hardly any wind. You line up your sights the middle of that bullseye. You squeeze the trigger and you take a beautiful shot and you miss. How the heck did that happen when you think and you are sure that you took a perfect shot? Well, don't be so sure because there is a way that you can miss even though your sights are lined up perfectly to the target. In this video, I'm going to show you why you can miss even though your sights are perfectly aligned and of course how to avoid it. This is Kirsten Joy Weiss and yeah, I might have burst your bubble that a perfectly aligned shot does not always equal a perfectly centered shot in the bullseye, but don't worry, in this video obviously I'm going to show you what to do, what causes it, and how to avoid it. Before we go any further, this teaching segment is made possible by the Wargaming team who created the game World of Tanks. Warner Brothers partnered with them for Christopher Nolan's movie about Dunkirk. I'm pretty excited about it. So there'll be more on that at the end of the video, but for now, let's keep going. Now why is it that you can have a seemingly perfect shot, yet still miss the target? Well, it might have to do with something that most shooters don't even think about. And that is gun cant. What's gun cant? That's when you tilt the gun, either right or left, from your center line of how you originally sighted in your gun. If you tilt your gun to the left or the right after being sighted with it perfectly vertical, it will displace the bullet, sometimes by a few inches, sometimes by a few feet, so you want to pay attention. Now take a rifle, for example, with a scope mounted on top. Now this can happen with other guns, and this can happen with iron sights, but a scope is gonna be a better visual for you to understand this concept. Now you sighted vertically with the scope mounted vertically. Now what the scope does is it actually compensates for the elevation of the trajectory of a bullet. Well, what does that mean? Not everybody knows that a bullet does not fly straight. It actually has a trajectory that sort of lobs into the target. Now an exaggerated visual for this would be a cannon or a tank where they're shooting their projectiles and they're moving and they have to lob that into the target. If they just shoot straight on, it's gonna go right into the ground. It's gonna lob and go pfft. It's not gonna make it because we live on a planet with gravity and gravity will affect the projectile. So it's the same concept with a bullet, it's just not as exaggerated, but it still matters. Your bullet goes like this and your sights actually point down towards the target. So you're essentially like a cannon or a tank, lifting the end of your barrel up so it lobs that round into the target. So you have this cross line where the point of impact meets your scope's crosshairs. And it's just this perfect little marriage between the two. But when you tilt it, that's where you get problems. If you start tilting your gun to the right, tilt your gun to the right, like that, your bullet's actually gonna go low and to the right. If you tilt your gun to the left, it's gonna go low and to the left. Why is this? Well, because instead of going whoop, now you're, you're actually tilting on a, a pivot point, basically. When you lob that, the trajectory is now no longer, that scope is no longer compensating for that trajectory completely. Now, a few things that exaggerate this is if you mount the optics very high, the higher the optic, the more this tilt is going to affect your shot. And also, if you are shooting at a long distance, everything is exaggerated. Or if you're shooting 22s precision at 50 meters, it's all very exaggerated as well. Pistol, it's a good thing to remember this, but it's not as essential because most pistol distances are very close compared to rifle distances. So you don't have to worry unless you're doing, say, um, long range or longer ranges of pistol. So it has a lot to do with the size round you have. It has a lot to do with the size, the distance, the size of your target, the distance your target's at. There's a lot of different factors. And so, in order to not confuse you, we're gonna move on to how to fix this problem. So how do we avoid this little mistake that adds up to big problems? Well, we stay consistent. That's pretty much the key in everything with shooting. Stay consistent. You sight your rifle in vertically, keep the rifle vertically. If you sight your rifle in with a cant, because some shooters cant their rifle into themselves in order to keep the rifle into their body zone, they need to stay consistent too, because if they start canting, then it's gonna be all messed up. Most people think, well, I'll just line up the reticle to the horizon, and then I know that I'm consistent. Well, even at one degree, 
tilt, left or right, can affect the shot, does affect the shot. It just depends on what you're after. So if you have something downrange you know is straight, great. But if you don't, like most people, then it's a problem. The best way to do it is really to use a bubble level. And that's something that they use in building where they're trying to get something plumb. And they use this little spirit level, bubble level, also used in photography and shooting. And there's a whole bunch of options for this, and maybe I'll put some in the description. But just find what works for you and what works best for your setup. That's gonna be your best option. You wanna keep that shooter error, that human error, you wanna shrink it down and shrink it down and shrink it down until you know that there's a, not a lot of factors that are gonna make you miss. When there's other factors you can't control added into your shooting, like wind, you're gonna thank me. So what's causing you to miss, even though it looks like you made a perfect shot, it could be gun can't. So be careful about how you're tilting that gun, even if it's a centimeter off. Depending on what you're after, that could mean the difference between making your shot and missing your shot. So I hope that you enjoyed this tip and that it made you a better shooter. If you have a friend who might enjoy this as well, please share it with them because it's always more fun to shoot when you know how to shoot. Before you go, I wanna tell you a little bit about this world of tanks and Warner Brothers' Christopher Nolan's movie about Dunkirk. And I can't wait to watch this movie. You hear about Dunkirk if you know anything about World War II, but you don't know the stories behind it and how miraculous this really was. One of the biggest evacuations of military history. There were heroes rallied up their boats, there were yachts and fishermen and that enthusiastically went to rescue these troops that were stranded on this beach by the Germans. If these troops had not been evacuated, the war could have ended quite differently. In World War II, technology and the vehicles of the time really decided a lot of the battles. When you play World of Tanks, you can actually pick the different tanks of World War II. And I'm a secret gamer, so this really excites me. Honoring World War II, that's important, and it just generates interest, and we remember the heroes of that day. So thanks so much for joining me. Aim true and happy shooting. Can't can affect you. Can't can. Oh, special tanks to the game. Tanks. <laughs> I want to say a special tanks to the world of tanks. <laughs> oh, okay.